Once upon a time, the Teen Titans seemed like they were going to be the next big thing for DC Comics. The Wolfman and Perez run in the 80s was massively popular and they had a hit television show in the 2000s that made casual audiences take notice. But somehow, it just didn't happen for the Titans. Instead of those two being the beginning of better things for the Teen Titans, they ended up being the only things the Titans are remembered for, even to this day. When you look at the Avengers or the Justice League or the X-Men, you are able to identify so many different and unique team rosters depending on the comic run or the adaptation, but for the Titans, they seem to be irreversibly stuck with the 80s new Teen Titans roster or the 2000s Teen Titans show roster no matter what and maybe the original Fab Five Titans but they rarely appear as a team in anything so I don't think that counts but yeah those two are the only things the Titans end up being remembered for and yes those two rosters are massively popular and obviously a lot of people like them but I also believe that it has severely hurt the brand from evolving and moving forward and I believe that's one of the main reasons why the Teen Titans hasn't emerged as a solid consistent team for DC Comics despite various attempts. And yes, I'm choosing to forget that the live action Titan series existed because that was uh, something else. Con Leslie was the perfect on a try though and she deserves so much better than that. Anyways, I want to take a look at the recent attempt in the comics to give uh, the Titans a push that ended up failing miserably and exactly why it was doomed to failure and I want to explain why this whole situation perfectly exemplifies the problem with the Titans franchise. For those who are not aware, some time ago DC Comics announced that the Justice League were temporarily going to disband and that the Titans were going to be the new main team of the DC Universe. This was something that I had always been hoping for DC Comics to do, a temporary status quo that allows the Titans to shine without having to compete with the Justice League a status quo that could give them the boost that they desperately needed and turn them into a consistent mainstay DC team. But DC Comics ended up absolutely wasting this incredible golden opportunity. This was their one big chance to finally do right by the Titans and they squandered it despite all of their big promises. As someone who considers the Titans to be their favorite superhero team of all time, I cannot help but rue this humongous missed opportunity. Despite their intentions, DC Comics wasn't able to deliver on their words and I don't think they had any intention of ever actually doing so. Their execution always seemed contradictory to their promises about the Titans. Now DC Comics had re has recently announced the return of the Justice League and that was what made me kind of want to take a moment to talk about how much DC wasted the Titans despite promising to make them the quote-unquote premier superhero team of the DC universe. Right from the start, it felt like something was wrong. Sure, they announced the Titan series from an A-list creative team of Tom Taylor and Nicholas Scott and promoted the hell out of it. But there were problems. The first was the same old nostalgia-driven roster the book had, the return of the iconic new T Titans roster because apparently writers are incapable of actually trying to make new iconic rosters for the Titans. You do not see the Justice League book trying to uh, return to the Morrison Justice League again and again. But for some reason, the Titans always seem to return to the new Titans roster no matter how long it takes. Almost all of the Titan series somehow seem to resort to this roster despite the fact that there are so many unique characters like Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern or Supergirl and many more that could make for intriguing new members of the team. And they could also serve as a huge powerful boost for the team that could enable them to take on bigger threats. The second was the Titans not making regular appearances across the DCU like the Justice League used to do. Despite being the so-called premier superhero team, they barely made any appearances outside of their title and they seemed to exist in a bubble. Outside of their own series, almost none of the other DC books seemed to acknowledge the Titans as the new big superhero team. They just seemed to do their own usual thing and that severely hurt the push they got as it seemed like the Titans were barely having any impact on the wider DC universe. Next, the Titan series barely seemed to tackle new things. 
Yes, they had a crossover story featuring Beast Boy becoming the new Starro and becoming a threat and the Titans facing a world-ending threat in that story. But other than that, the Titans seemed to only tackle low-level threats and to make it even more cliche, they ended up doing yet another evil Raven plot which was entirely boring. Despite being the main superhero team, they barely had an impact on the DC Universe. It only seemed like lip service for the Titans book as none of the other books reflected the status quo. They spent multiple issues building up Amanda Waller as a big threat and when the Absolute Power event featuring Amanda Waller's big plan finally happened, the Titans were absolutely nowhere to be seen and it ended up becoming a Justice League story. Beast Jewel featuring Beast Boy becoming the new Starro was the only story that featured them prominently and for some reason it was really self-contained for a big crossover story which is usually good, but in this case, I feel like they could have gone all out. Frankly speaking, as a series and as a team, the Titans lacked direction in this new era, and it didn't help that the writing for this series was quite generic, and it struggled to nail the characterization for the characters, and it even struggled to properly use the characters, except for a few like Nightwing, Beast Boy, and Raven. The team didn't feel like the family they usually do. None of the usual drama associated with the Titans were there, it ended up being an extremely generic superhero comic with no memorable character interactions or stories to speak of. And that's the last thing you want if you're trying to push them as the next big thing. And that ultimately brings up my final point which is kind of a summary of all of this. Nothing big actually happened in the Titans book. Like you could have missed this book and you would have not have missed anything. This was like nothing. It was supposed to be the big flagship team book of this new era, but it did not seem to deliver anything. There were no major roster changes or new additions to the team. There were no major developments that affected the Titans or the wider DC universe. It had generic characterization with unmemorable character interactions. The book had no proper direction. There was the same old threats. It was just business as usual for the Titans and that got boring really quick. They played it too safe and I think that's what really hurt the series and the whole Titans push. They were unwilling to actually take risks and as they usually do with the Titans, they depended on nostalgia to get them through instead of actually daring to try something new. I would have vastly preferred them trying something new and failing instead of repeating the same old thing and failing it again. I guess overall I'm just disappointed. Titans is my favorite superhero team of all time and despite all of my doubts and hesitation, I was still rooting for them to succeed. I just really, really wish it had not ended up being exactly how I thought it would end up. This was the one big chance the Titans had gotten to firmly establish themselves as one of the premier superhero teams of the DCU, especially in the absence of the Justice League, but DC messed it up. And I'm kind of sure that they will be fully sidelined very soon, just like how they were before. I always wanted a status quo like this for them and did not yield the results that I hoped it would. Hopefully one day we'll finally get a Titan series that actually dares to try something new and is actually tries to evolve these characters and more than anything, I hope they can stop relying on the past and find the courage and guts to create a new memorable Titans lineup that can be remembered as its own iconic Titans roster. And they need to start creating new directions for these characters instead of keeping them eternally stuck in what they were all these years ago. The Titans deserve a new iconic comic run and a new iconic adaptation that stays true to what the Titans are supposed to be about while also providing something new and refreshing. And I hope that happens in the near future, but I'm also not holding my breath that it will.